that i'm just being funny hi guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing amazing <laughs> sorry i'm <laughs> laughing luke is doing some weird <laughs> stuff off camera anyways hi guys how are you i hope you guys are doing amazing so today's video is gonna be a plant-based q a it's gonna be luke's q a this time he celebrated his two-year plant-based anniversary so to celebrate, we're gonna do a Q&A. You guys asked a lot of questions, so Great we're, questions too. we're excited to dive into these. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We might do like another Q&A. Luke and I were talking and we might just do just more videos like this, more casual sit down talking videos. So let me know if you guys have any additional questions and let's jump into this. Alrighty, so first question, what changes did you notice after going plant-based with your mental and body? That's a good question. So like mentally, I struggled in the past just like keeping a clear mind, like focusing on the task at hand. Usually I get distracted and overwhelmed just like super, super easily when I was focusing on anything day in and day out. I noticed that like once I started going plant-based, my mind started clearing a little bit more. It felt like less fog, less jumble. Like mm -hmm. So like mentally, like I feel clearer, more clarity. And honestly, like drinking more water, like and having more water-based foods has really helped me too. Just making sure like I'm keeping my hydration up. And I feel like that's probably like the number one thing that really helped me mentally. Mm -hmm. And then um, with my body, well, as you guys can tell, I mean, I haven't changed much in my body. My <laughs> weight's still around the same. Um, a lot of my energy has been better. I know like I've noticed when I would normally work on like my previous jobs and everything, I get tired a lot faster. I work really hard and just like be exhausted by the end of like whatever I was doing, whether it's my shift at work, whenever we were in the fast food industry, or if it was like me working, like putting AC parts together and stuff like that. Like I was really exhausted more often than not when I wasn't eating plant-based. And then now that I am plant-based and my current job is pretty labor, like physically intensive, like very, very tiring. I've noticed a lot more energy, like I'm able to push through and luckily like it comes in like short bursts. So usually I can be like, have a really intense thing, catch my breath, get everything going again and cycle through it. And so I've been noticing that's a lot faster and a lot more simple mm -hmm. being plant-based. And you've lost some weight. Yeah. It hasn't been like a lot, but he's lost like 10, 15 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. yeah since like, well, I've fluctuated around. I know when I first started, I was pretty high up there and I tried switching my lifestyle and it really dropped my weight pretty low. So I lost, I think almost 45 pounds or something like that from where I was. And then I obviously gained a little bit back, but either way, I'm still 15 pounds less than when I started or when we started exercising and doing everything this year. So. Yeah. Alrighty. What was this core destination on going plant-based? Well, I went plant-based because I was really, really interested in bettering myself and feeling better. Like my quality of life before it wasn't great. Like I had a lot of brain fog. My energy levels were all over the place. Like I either had a lot of energy or I had no energy at all. Yeah. And I was just laying around all the time, super lethargic. But going plant-based, it really helped balance everything out. It helped clear up the brain fog and helped make me feel like more energized throughout the day. Like my energy actually carried my, like carried longer throughout like while I was working and everything. So mm -hmm. it really, really helped. And I think that was my main core destination is just feeling better instead of just feeling like tired all the time and exhausted. All right, so what helped you fully commit to the lifestyle? A lot of things really helped me fully commit. I think focusing on my health, like seeing you go on your journey, focusing on your health, not just doing it for like anyone else around you, but doing it for you internally and everyone else around you, mm -hmm. I think really showed me that there's a important significance like of taking care of yourself, especially because I want to live as much of my life as possible. I don't want to just like cut away years because I'm not eating right. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to have energy to play with our kids and play with like our dogs and run around the world and go on hikes and adventures and all sorts of stuff. Like there's so many things I want to do and my lifestyle that I was choosing to eat, like it wasn't going to let me do that. I mean, I'm not for long. I'm yeah. not getting any younger. I'm yeah. getting older every single day. Like we're both almost in our thirties. Like we're yeah. getting there and making sure that I'm eating right. I, I needed to start it now before like I started getting older and older and older. My body stops working. My joints stop working. I get all <laughs> like, Oh, it won't work. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I do better. You know, I wanted to make sure like I was taking care of myself. And so like fully committing is not only like a commitment to me, it's like a commitment to my future and our future. And so it just was an easy choice. It's really what I wanted to do. I love that. Alrighty, next question. Congratulations, Luke. That's awesome. Thank you. Woo! 
what have you noticed about your skin since becoming plant-based? Ooh, that's a good one. So um, I did have this condition called tinea versicolor, which is like a fungus that eats away at the skin or mainly like dead skin. It's not like a skin eating disease in the sense that it's like attacking live skin. You might've seen in some of the past videos, if I think it's one of the beach videos or something like some patchiness, it looks like, and it kind of looks like psoriasis a little tiny bit but it's actually like a, a fungus that was And I can, I'll try to find a picture and put it on the screen for you guys, but. But that's cleared up. It was, it, it was, it was bad. It yeah, was, it was bad, it was bad. all over. It's like, uh, you can kind of tell a little bit of the splotchiness on my neck. That's like some remnants of it, but that's about it. Um, it's gone, like it, it was all over my chest. It was like all right here and then right here and then all over my back. And now it's cleared up. So, and I haven't changed anything else other than just eating differently. I think it's just incorporating more water-rich foods into yeah. his diet. It really, really, really helped his skin. Oh yeah, and I used to have like breakouts a lot too. Like I might get one or two here or there, but my skin normally like gets really, really dry. And that's like a family thing too. Like you might notice like I get some dry skin like on my forehead or my like, eyebrows and my face gets kind of red because of it. Um, but when I drink enough water and I'm eating the water-rich foods, it's gone. So yeah, plant-based diets really helped out my skin a lot. This is the most common question that we receive from multiple people. Haley from YouTube. Hi Haley. She says, has he ever tried raw? A lot more people were asking, would he ever consider a raw fruitarian diet? Will Luke ever consider going raw in the future? Has Luke ever considered going raw like you? Does Luke plan to eventually go raw? So this is... <laughs> What the heck are you doing? So this has been asked by so many people. So, dun dun dun. Let everyone know. Do you plan to go raw eventually? Is raw veganism something that you see in your future? At least like to try temporarily. Uh, to try, yeah. I mean, I don't see a problem with trying it. I know a lot of like, if we have leftovers or something, I'll usually eat them. I would love to potentially go on like trying being raw vegan for a week or however long just to, to say I did it. I don't necessarily see me choosing to stay on the lifestyle just yet, but as with my transition to becoming plant-based, I really just am going slower and I don't really know where it's gonna lead me. If it leads me to raw, great. If it doesn't, I'm perfectly fine with staying plant-based yeah. for the rest of my life. I have no problem with it. Hopefully. But you're not completely against going raw, so you can do like yeah. a temporary raw vegan challenge. Would you be up for that? Yeah, I'd be up for that. You said for like a week max? It doesn't have to have a time limit. Could Why? you go for 30 days? I, maybe. I mean, I've prepped a lot of your food, Doubt so it. I mean, I Doubt guess it. we'll see. Doubt it. Okay. He'd be done after like three days. He'd be like, I can't do this. <laughs> I mean, I just don't eat a lot of fruit. I eat a lot of vegetables. Like I'm, I'm more of a vegetable guy. So that's yeah. my issue. I'd have to eat more fruit. Yeah. Gotta eat more fruit. <laughs> Next question here. This is hilarious actually. Oh Lord. Has any... <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you look like Joaquin Phoenix? Better uh, looking though. She adds better looking though. <laughs> I mean, he's a good looking guy and I really like his you career so? and his acting. Yeah, he's a phenomenal method actor. He's all right. He's, well, he's a great method actor. Let's just be honest. He's really, really good. Has anyone ever told you that though? Um, mm -mm, no. <laughs> I mean, I hear more Tobey Maguire than I hear anything, but I mean, I guess I've kind of matured enough and I look very different. But in high school, I looked apparently like Tobey Maguire, so my nickname was Spider-Man, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't see the resemblance to Joaquin Phoenix at all. I don't see it. I mean, I guess when he does like his like chubbier movies. <laughs> Shut up. All right, this question is from Megan. Hi, Megan, I love you. She says, hey, Ash, I guess this question is for both of you. Do you often um, plan for vacation around the availability of plant-based options in that area? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. like, mm -hmm. there are a lot of places all around Georgia and even like states outside of Georgia, like all around Georgia, that we've planned out journeys and trips to just for those specific restaurants. Yep. And I think like good examples would be um, Oh My Soul, I think that's in- North Carolina. Charlotte? Yeah, Charlotte, Charlotte yeah. Yeah. Oh My Soul is a good example of that, where we made sure that we got a place near there so we could try that restaurant. Yeah. Because we're both like foodies at heart. So like going to these different restaurants, trying these different things, it's it's always super, super fun. Especially like exploring new towns and like new areas too. The dogs love it. I think Luce went with us that time. That was before Graham. So mm -hmm. Graham needs to go on a journey next. So we're going to have to do that. But yeah, yeah we do plan out um, our trips around like vegan restaurants. If we know we're going to be away, like say we're going on a hike, 
um, which kind of answers, I think, the next part of the question. Mm -hmm. uh, the next part of the question is, or just prepare to do a lot of your own food prep. Yeah. And that's a yes too. So like if we're going on a hike or something, we'll prep some food. So we'll have like um, these glass, like little Tupperware type bins that we put in our bags, um, fruit, every, anything and everything that we need, we'll mm -hmm. usually like pack in our hiking bags. Yeah. So it's a combination of both. We go to either a restaurant, we'll do research beforehand or we'll bring our own stuff. It just depends on what we're doing, where we're going. It just depends. We do both though. Yeah, and if you can, if you're willing to, you can travel with your appliances as well. Like, yeah, uh, I do that sometimes. That that <laughs> that, that, that bag is yeah. heavy. Put that Vitamix, put the Nama <laughs> Juicer in there. That bag is like boom. <laughs> it's necessary though, like especially is, for my lifestyle. Is, is. Yeah, it's it's necessary. Yeah, especially like if you go somewhere, you got to be cautious of like if the place that you're staying at has like cleaned some of their utensils and cutting boards and stuff and. A lot of, if you stay at a hotel, they don't typically give you those appliances and stuff like that. So yeah. it's important to bring your stuff sometimes if you really need it. And she says, I'm asking because it's been a challenge for me to travel with my family. Um, I'm usually walking around with a food cooler with my own food. I can relate. I feel like that's kind of <laughs> like targeting us at the same time. I feel attacked. <laughs> We, <laughs> excuse me. So at like when we would go to the beach, like when we were filming, I think one of the Osea integrations, we uh, brought a whole cooler of all sorts of like snacks and stuff, of fruit and everything. So we had all sorts of stuff. Fruits, and, nuts. Oh well, yeah, fruit, nuts, all that stuff. <laughs> People were looking at us crazy, but I mean, I had I had to do it. I had to bring it. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And then she says, love you guys. Can't wait for this Q&A. We love you too, Megan. We love you. Help me out, boo. Love you. That was the worst heart ever. Okay, there you go. <laughs> all right, next question. Are there any vitamins that you suggest taking or do you get all of your nutrients from your food? Vitamin mm -hmm. D, gotta make sure we're getting enough sun, making sure we're also like eating the foods that we need yeah, to. Yeah, we take vitamin D religiously oh, yeah. in the winter time. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. When we don't have as much sun or we're not going out as much, yeah. we become deficient if we're not careful. So we have to supplement that. And then like B12 is a good example. Everyone talks about B12. It's very, very important. Um, mm -hmm. That really helped me actually when I went um, vegetarian, when I was struggling with like brain fog and headaches initially. Um, taking B12 really helped clear that up and increase my energy levels. And it's true, I didn't believe it. I really didn't think like some supplement or something could help me to that extent. I really didn't because I, I mean, it makes sense because it's like these are vital nutrients you need to live. And I didn't realize I was becoming deficient in it. And then I added back into my diet and I'm just like, whoa, super energy, it's like supercharged. And that's what, like, I didn't think that's what B12 felt like. To be honest with you, I really didn't. <laughs> yep. But it helped me like re energize myself and gain back like the the strength and mobility that I really needed to like perform in my jobs that I've been working. So it really helps. So B12, Omega, um, omega mm -hmm. iron, those are always important. Like the Omega help with the brain fog too, like clearing things up. And what brand supplements do you take? Another question here. Uh, so her and I, we both take the same ones. Mary Ruth Organics. Uh, mm -hmm. Those are really, really good. I think you have an iron one that tastes absolutely delicious. I think it's like wild berry or something like that. Yes, yeah, I don't even know. It's delicious. Yeah. Um, uh, Mary Ruth Organics, Symbiotica. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. What's the other one? Oh my gosh, I take so many. Gosh, but the one he specifically takes is Mary Ruth. Yeah. He likes Mary Ruth the is Mary, his favorite. The Mary Ruth B12 spray, my absolute favorite, my yep. go-to. I'll have that, like, say if I'm heading out for work or something, I just go like, Shh. It's like kind of like one of those like, breath spray things. That's all you need. Do you miss any animal-based foods? If so, which which foods? I think I really miss spaghetti until I realized that I could just make a plant-based version of it. And mm -hmm. I didn't have it for like a solid year. And I love spaghetti. I grew up with spaghetti. That was like my go-to food. And I really, really missed having it for a year. And then I realized I could make a plant-based version of it with like plant-based meat. And it's fantastic. I don't miss a lot of animal-based foods. I guess maybe like sour cream, mm -hmm. but there's a plant-based version of that too. So I don't really, I would say no. Cause I mean, everything that I've really, really craved or wanted, we've been able to make like a plant-based version of, so. What were some of your favorite animal-based foods? Sour cream, steak, um, cheese, honestly. That yeah, was one, ice cheese. cream. He has a cheese addiction. Um, yeah. Oh, sushi. Sushi. But that's. Yep. I listen, we have a local restaurant, phenomenal A1 sushi that is plant-based. Yeah, what's it called? 
Um, v green, not V green. No, v, v green is a good one too. Yeah. Um, I'm talking about Red Ginger Asian Fusion. Oh my word. It's like one of those local Asian restaurants and they know what they are doing. Like it is phenomenal. I think it's been voted like the best vegan restaurant or one of the best vegan restaurants in Atlanta. I think so, yeah. Yeah, like oh. it's it has a lot of awards. Like when you walk in, there's all their awards and plaques on the wall. I'm like, and they have a lot of great alternatives too. They actually know how to make like authentically what the sauce is or the flavor of the dishes and stuff. Yeah. And so like they make it right and they use the mock meat of it too. And it's, it's perfect. I haven't had anything there that I haven't liked. Yeah, going there has made all his animal-based cravings go away. <laughs> yeah, I guess I really do love Asian food. I always forget like what kind of foods that I really like and what I miss because I, I don't really pay attention to that too much. I'm always like, oh, I'm craving this. Let's go get this, and then I go get it. Like yesterday was like, I'm craving a donut. Let's go get a vegan donut, mm -hmm. and I got a vegan donut, like vegan donut. Like yeah. anything I'm craving, I just don't even think about it anymore because I like, just, all right, let's go get it. There's a really nice vegan donut place like 20 mm. minutes from where we live. What's yeah, it called? 20 minutes. Uh, ooh, that's a good question. I just got simply yesterday. done. Yes, simply done. That's they're so good. They only have vegan donuts on the weekends, but they are phenomenal. They're really really simply good. done donuts. Yeah, they're and, like mini donuts, like they big. Yeah, and you can like customize it, put your own little toppings and stuff on there, and frosting and mm -hmm. yeah, they're really good. Since we're on the topic of food, what is your favorite go-to vegan meal? Hit me with it. Come on. Uh, there's so many to choose from. It's yeah. hard to choose. It'd probably be like a plant-based burger. Like I eat way too many burgers. Like it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like, cause I can put anything on them. Like if there's something I want, like I think my go-to would be like a plant-based patty with like lettuce, tomato, jalapenos, fried onions, and some pickles. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's perfect. I can eat a vegan burger at any time. It's, it's pretty simple. I'm really simple with that. <laughs> but I do like spaghetti. Spaghetti is like a good like comfort food. Anytime like I'm feeling sad or something, mm -hmm. that's a good one. Sushi. Um, sushi. Um, so vegan sushi, it's a lot of work. So it w I wouldn't call it a necessarily go-to unless someone else is making it for me. <laughs> yeah. So if it's someone else is making it for me, then I'll, I'll eat it any day. All right. What is your favorite go-to breakfast, lunch, and dinner? So breakfast... It definitely is my little like hodgepodge thing that I make where I like put some hash browns, some plant-based meat, onion, garlic, um, bell pepper, mushrooms. What else do I put in it? Cheese sometimes. Cheese, yeah, plant-based plant -based cheese. cheese. Yep. And yeah, that's about it actually. And yeah. then I mix it all together. Some shoyu. Green onion. Yep, green onion, mm -hmm. shoyu. It's kind of like a, like a hash brown scramble bowl if, if I had to name it something. Hodgepodge. Yeah, it's a hodgepodge, yeah. What? A hodgepodge. I love it. It's so easy. I just throw everything in the pan, fry it up, and then just eat it. It's good to go. Lunch. Go to lunch. I like a good salad for lunch. I don't like to eat a lot of like heavy foods. Typically, like I might skip lunch, uh, which is not great, but because of my job, really, I'm super busy. And, but if I do have lunch, I want to keep it like lighter. And so I'll have something like say a salad, like a good, nice salad, like mm -hmm. a rainbow salad. Mm -hmm. And then for dinner? I could have, I could list so many things. What is your go-to? Oh, Lordy. My go-to? You're making me choose? Yeah, you gotta choose. Choose one. <sighs> Why? This shouldn't be so hard. I don't know. <laughs> One of my favorite go-to dinners would be a plant-based pizza. Those are amazing. We kind of touched on this earlier, but how has um, it changed his energy levels since going and does he feel any difference? My energy levels previously would get really, like they'd get depleted and they just wouldn't come back up until I'd go to sleep and then wake up the next day. And I've noticed like my energy levels since going plant-based have been actually able to replenish throughout the day. So I like, Anytime, like say I, I'm working with like a really difficult client or I'm struggling or something that day, like I have some challenge of some kind or mm -hmm. I'm mentally exhausted, um, I can actually start feeling myself like recover energy wise just mm -hmm. by like taking a second, maybe eating a plant-based meal or just like sitting outside, just taking a breather. And then my energy's like back and probably not at the same level it was when it first started, but it definitely comes back faster. So I'm able to keep going for longer. So it has really impacted my energy levels and helped me like transition through like different challenges that I like I go through throughout my day. Yeah, he's he doesn't have a need for like coffee or energy drinks. Oh, I don't drinks. drink any coffee. Mm -mm. Yeah. No coffee. I don't like bean water. Bean, <laughs> bean water. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend anybody to each their own. If you like bean water, enjoy your bean water. I, I'll, I'll stick to like 
regular water or lemon water or like i'm not i'm not perfect i have some plant-based sodas i'm not gonna lie oh I, yeah we know I, okay <laughs> all right yes i have plant-based sodas and yes they have caffeine so it's not really that much different than coffee so yeah 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 but he was never really a coffee drinker anyway i was a pure soda drinker like i loved soda and learning that there were plant-based sodas out there made the transition so much easier the only thing that really gives you energy now is your diet right yeah yeah i mean i wake up every day i mean i just sleep when i my body says hey you need some sleep i get some sleep and wake up and i'm perfectly fine to keep going awesome next question I think it's a statement not sure if you guys are a couple this is my first time ever hearing of you if so beautiful couple thank you we are welcome we appreciate it um i'm working on the plant-based thing okay do, do you have any advice for her? i mean the same advice that you tell your followers if you're curious about like seeing what the lifestyle one is about plant-based meal a just, day that's just all try one meal like yep. that's all you have to do like if it's one of your favorites there's all sorts of kinds of things that you can have that are like really really good i think one of my favorites that she made um recently that was like i'd hardly seen anybody do was um the the thai curry yep that was good like was i, did, I did not know that we could make something that good that's plant-based like and raw and raw mm -hmm. yeah it's crazy. It really is. Like, there's so many cool things that you can try. There's so, going to be a lot of challenges and difficulties yeah. that come with adopting any lifestyle change, specifically a plant-based diet or a raw vegan diet, but it's not impossible. I definitely would suggest doing your research. Like, keep following this channel. Look up different recipes that you would love or want to try and try to find a way to make it plant-based. And just try to make it your style. So yeah. try to find a, to, a way to make your favorite foods a plant-based way. And then just try that every now and then. You don't have to have it all the time. And you don't have to jump straight into it. I know she went cold turkey. Yeah, I did. I could not go cold turkey. I went from the sad diet to the vegetarian, then to plant-based. And this was over like the span of like five, six years, like a lot of time. So take your time. Yeah, take your time. You don't yeah. need to rush anything. Just remember you're, you're on your own journey. You don't have to live by someone's, oh, I did this and one month oh i did this in one year just follow what that you feel is right yeah make sure you listen to your body that's the most important thing i failed at that she struggled with that we all struggle you have to just be patient with yourself and just acknowledge like hey i might not be doing this perfectly what can i do better or what can i try what can i see? i don't think there is a way to do it perfect yeah i mean and, and that's, that's true a, and that's okay yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. We all struggle, but just acknowledging the fact that we're on our own journeys and we're trying to do better by ourselves, like by our health and for ourselves is most important. All right, was it hard for Luke to transition to a plant-based diet? It was pretty hard. I had a longer transition. I couldn't do like a quick jump to plant-based. I went from the standard American diet to vegetarian to then plant-based. Mm -hmm. So yes and no. I feel like it was really difficult when I first started because I didn't know what the diet entailed. I didn't know what I should be eating, what I shouldn't be eating. Uh, well, I knew what I shouldn't be eating, but I just didn't know what I should and the quantity of how much I should be eating. So like making the jump and the transition even just a vegetarian and just not eating enough it was a challenge in of itself because i was just super tired super sleepy all the time mm -hmm. so that was my main struggle being like encountering other foods that i like missed because i love pizza i loved all those choices so and the luckily, cravings were pretty bad the cravings were pretty bad luckily being vegetarian i could still have like cheese pizza so that wasn't an issue but that's also honestly like the reason why I went vegetarian first because I love cheese, I love dairy, like sour cream and stuff like that. That way I could still have those things. So it was a challenge, but I knew it was gonna be a challenge. And that's why like I slowed it down instead of just jumping straight into plant-based. But regardless, I struggled. I really did like finding alternatives, being able to enjoy food because I felt like it, it felt more like a punishment, me becoming like vegetarian. Like I was like torturing myself in a way because I wasn't allowing myself to eat. And I realized like, that's not okay. Like I can eat all sorts of things. I can try different things too. Yeah. So really learning that. Yeah, it was awful for him, you guys. Because it was, like... it was such a plain diet. Like that was back when I was working in fast food and I was eating like a salad and some bread all the time. Mm -hmm. And it just, I felt like my diet was so bland. I was eating the same thing all the time. And I didn't realize like I could diversify like what I was eating and I needed to increase what I was eating too. Yeah. And once I really kind of like encountered that, it, it really helped me like transition. 
and like faced the challenges head on. How was that transition for you? Going from vegetarian to plant-based was an easier transition than going from the standard American diet to vegetarian. Only because like I had a lot more knowledge, a lot more just like ability to make more things in the kitchen and have more access to foods that are easier and better for me. Yeah. So going plant-based really wasn't that hard, especially having her around. Like she had all this, like has all this knowledge that helped me like find alternatives. <laughs> and anytime we'd like go to the store, she'd like find like plant-based options. Ooh, try this. Any of these like plant-based alternatives to all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that's what really made it a lot easier. I had a lot of cravings, especially like going from the standard American diet to vegetarian. And I didn't know how to satisfy my cravings, but going from vegetarian to plant-based was a lot easier than I thought it would be because I knew I loved sour cream. I loved dairy. I loved all those things. And I knew going plant-based, I had to give all that up. But finding the alternatives, like the alternative sour cream that we've made on our channel, all these, all these things, I love it. So it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, but it definitely had its challenges, more so revolving around the, the cravings. Okay, what do you think has been the hardest part of being plant-based? The cravings. It's just missing those like options. I knew like I could cut off meat, that wasn't an issue at all. It was the dairy. But the yeah. dairy. That's why like choosing vegetarian was the best choice to like slowly transition me over because I, I really loved sour cream. I really loved cheese. I loved eating all of those things because like pizza was a heavy part of my diet. Um, ham or cheeseburgers and stuff, those were all heavy parts of my diet. Mm. The choice to really change that and cut out the meat, yeah, it was hard, but the even harder choice was like how much I love sour cream and ice cream and all those things. And being vegetarian for as long as I was, being able to experience that there are other options and alternatives out there really helped me. But it was definitely a challenge is like all those cravings, just mm -hmm. like transitioning slowly really helped me through it though. Alrighty, how do you deal with cravings after transitioning? What's so funny? what I do is I look up different recipes and whatever I'm craving and I find a way to make a plant-based alternative. And that really has helped. Like after I just transitioned, it was super, super hard because all I wanted was the original food. I didn't think that there was an option to have something plant-based or vegetarian or something or make something like an alternative mm -hmm. until like much later on. And once I learned that, it made everything super, super easy. What are some of your favorite alternatives to your previous snacks? Ooh, my snacks? Okay. What are your favorite alternatives? I used to love beef jerky a lot and they have like this mushroom beef jerky and it's amazing. Like it's really, really good. Is that Whole Foods, right? Yeah, yeah. Whole Foods. Um, I mean, my previous snack was technically already plant-based. So I love chips and salsa. My absolute <laughs> favorite go-to snack would probably be chips and salsa because mm. I just love salsa and spicy things. Um, popcorn, which also wasn't that hard. But I used to love butter on my popcorn and that was probably like a harder choice, but it's actually not that bad. Um, there's still a lot of great popcorns that you don't need to have like butter on that are really, really tasty. One thing I miss, Chex Mix. Certain Chex Mix I can have, but a lot of them have milk and dairy in them, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And I loved Chex Mix. Cheetos, Hot Cheetos, miss Hot Cheetos. And it's unfortunate that they came up with an extra flame and Hot Cheeto flavor. No, oh, you're not missing out on much, trust me. I know. <laughs> but I loved the Flaming Hot Cheetos. I think we both did. Like you loved them in high school and I loved them like yeah, in general. Yeah, but they would make me feel like crap. Yeah. It was mm, bad. Sure I was addicted to the things that made me feel most crappy. Yeah. That's what I'm realizing. Like why? What have you noticed different about your body? definitely has to be the energy level like mm -hmm. i i know you remember like how tired i was like i'd come oh, yeah. home from work and i'd just be like <laughs> out cold laying on the couch or like sitting in bed or something like that <laughs> i'd just be asleep i'd be out like i couldn't play with the dogs i couldn't do anything but now like having all this energy and ability to do things like go on hikes do all these adventurous things that i loved to do when i was a kid but i just stopped doing for whatever reason Having the energy now to go do them has been the number one thing mm -hmm. that I've noticed and I actually love about being plant-based. How's the quality of your sleep? <laughs> I, I mean, I never struggled falling asleep, but I never realized I didn't sleep as deep as I needed to. Like I was a pretty shallow sleeper before I went plant-based, mm -hmm. but now I like get full solid sound sleep. I can sleep for a solid like seven, eight hours and, and be absolutely fine. Like I feel more rested when I wake up, more energized compared to like before. How did your partner influence you in your journey? Yes, mm. how did I? 
well, I mean, <laughs> you made it a lot easier, honestly. Like I, initially, good. like as I was learning and progressing through the lifestyle, I was not making all the best choices and she was always right there in my ear just saying, oh, get that instead. Oh, you should try this, you should try this. You helped me really open my eyes to like the possibilities of what I can eat and all the things that are available to me. Mm -hmm. And I think influence in the best way. It also is nice having someone there, especially your partner. You don't feel as alone, like going mm -hmm. on this lifestyle too. Like if she wants to go somewhere and eat something, we try to find something that we both can eat. Like it's very hard to find like raw vegan restaurants and stuff, but having her there with me and we're figuring this out together has made it so much easier in my opinion, because mm -hmm. it's very hard to do it alone. It really is. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you influenced me for the better. You helped me learn and like develop in a way that I can actually eat foods that I, I love and that I'm interested in or I'm having cravings in mm -hmm. and showed me that I can create all sorts of cool, amazing dishes. Alrighty, do you ever have a cheat day? Yes, I have cheat days. I, I try to listen to my body on like what it's wanting or craving at the time. Mm -hmm. And I try to find like a healthier alternative, whether that's like a, a vegan burger or like fries or like um, chicken nuggets or um, like soy based chicken yeah, nuggets. Yeah, soy based like, chicken nuggets. Like impossible nuggets or something. Yeah. Or like um, those things are not healthy all the time, but yeah. You know. They're not. But those are like good, like cheat day foods that I really enjoy and stuff like that. Like, yeah. But they're also Oreos. like. Oreos. Yeah, Oreos. <laughs> but yeah, I have cheat days every now and then. I try to listen to what my body wants. All right, will we be seeing you in future videos? Of course. Yeah, I'll always be around, whether it's behind the camera or in front of the camera. There'll be more videos like what we eat in days coming up soon. Yep. And like travel vlogs, all sorts of stuff. So I will definitely be around. Stay As tuned. long as she'll let me be around. Oh gosh, she'll be around <laughs> forever. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. All right, next question came in from Instagram from Miss Kate. Hi, Kate. We talk all the time on Instagram. How are you? Um, she asks, is he worried about protein? Hmm. I mean, I am not as worried as most people. I have like a lot of different types of proteins. Like we have our somewhere protein powders that we have. Um, I eat a lot of like dark leafy greens. Those have a pretty decent amount of protein. I have soy based of protein. protein actually. They yeah. do. Yeah. And I have like soy based protein products sometimes like uh, plant based burgers or like um, plant based chicken nuggets and stuff like that. Those have a lot of protein. I'm not yeah. really worried about protein. Yeah, people are very frantic in the vegan community about protein. Mm -hmm. But I have a shirt that literally reads, keep calm, plants have protein. It's one of my favorite shirts <laughs> that we have. I'm not worried about protein, to like, be honest with you. It's, it's ridiculous. Everyone is so obsessed about protein. Need more protein. Guys, you, your, our bodies actually don't need that much protein. And there are a bunch of protein plant-based sources out there. like. Like Luke said, dark leafy greens. You can get protein in nuts and seeds. Mm, you yep, can get protein yep, in fruits. Mm -hmm. So, no. I or, mean, some of the strongest animals out there are actually like plant based eaters. So, come on. Like, you gorillas. See, look at cows. They eat grass. Yeah. And they have some of the biggest and strongest muscles out there. Exactly. So, no, if you're concerned about protein and getting enough protein, you don't have to worry about that at all. In a plant-based lifestyle, a raw vegan lifestyle. Eat your spinach. Yeah, eat your spinach. <laughs> all right, next question is also from Instagram. It's from Ashley. How are you, Ashley? Hi, you have my name, you're cool. <laughs> How long <laughs> has he been on his journey? Two years. Yep, two yep. years. Um, and what has been his biggest struggle slash reward? The biggest struggle would definitely be I felt like very isolated in my journey and my path that I was going on. The most rewarding thing is just being able to have my energy back, like being able to like feel like I can perform and, and do what I need to do. That's probably one of the, like it's the biggest thing for me is being able to like have that energy back so we can go on journeys and adventures and stuff and hopefully keep the energy of when we have kids so we can take care of them and like play with them and have some fun with them and all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. So. I think that's the biggest reward is just like feeling more myself and energized again instead of just lethargic and tired. And having your health back in general. Yeah, definitely. Alrighty, what caused the full changeover? Do you think it's forever? I definitely think it's going to be for a long time. Like the changeover itself has just been mainly regarding my health and taking better care of myself so I can like live longer and be there for my family and friends and everything. So. The full changeover really happened because I just wasn't feeling right. I was struggling with like brain fog and just like not feeling energized and lethargic. 
and I really wanted to do better and change my life and try to feel better. And I've tried all these different things and now I was just like, I need to actually go to the source, like what I'm putting in my body and see if that changes anything. And it did, it solved all my issues. Like I've sharper than I've been in a long time. I have more energy than I have, like I've had in a long time. I feel great. Mm -hmm. So that really is what like ultimately led to the changeover. It's just wanting to feel better. Like I was just feeling really crappy and thinking it's forever. I mean, I'm two years in and I don't want to change. I feel like I love what I'm doing. We get to try all sorts of different kinds of food and I love what I'm doing with it and how I'm feeling. So I don't plan to change anytime soon. Alrighty guys, that wraps up this Q and A. Thank you guys for those that submitted questions. Um, if we didn't get to your question, leave them in the comments section below and we'll do like another Q and A video in the future. We love you guys so much and we hope to do a what we eat in a day video soon for you guys. Oh, I know yeah. that you guys love those types of videos. So stay tuned for that and my recipe ebook, which is in the works, currently in the works. Yes. We're excited. So stay tuned. We got amazing stuff coming and we love you guys and we'll see you guys very soon. Bye.